Hi, this is Dennis DeSantis from Ableton. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply different groove amounts, or even different grooves entirely, to individual instruments on a uh, drum rack. So in this example, uh, we have one groove applied to the playing clip, and it's set to a pretty small amount of uh, groove timing. But let's say I want a lot more swing to apply to just the shaker instrument on this track. If I turn this groove up, I'm applying the uh, high amount of groove timing to every instrument on the track, which is not what I want to do. So I'm going to extract the shaker chain to a separate track. And to do this, I can just click in the chain list and drag the shaker out and then drop it into the, uh, the main area of the drop area of the set. And what this does is creates a new drum rack with all of the clips in place that contain that note, that contain notes for that instrument, and uh, separates out just that instrument and any effects that came along with it. So now when I launch this again, I can hear that I'm playing the uh, just the shaker is now available on this clip and in this track. Now what's missing, and the reason it sounds a little bit quieter, is there was also a compressor on the drum rack itself on the original track after the uh, after the entire rack, and that's not taken with an extracted chain. But I can duplicate this. I'm just going to copy it and paste it back into this new track. Paste it here, and now that should help to boost the uh, gain a little bit. Now that I've done this, I have the shaker isolated on a separate track, along with all the MIDI notes that ever played it. I can simply uh, duplicate this groove, drag the new groove, the shaker, and then adjust its amount higher. So now I've got 70% swing for the groove that's applying to the shaker, while still retaining the 15% swing that's applying to the uh, full clip. So that's a quick tutorial explaining how to apply individual groove amounts to individual instruments in a drum rack. 